<clears throat> hey Scorpio, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. As the cards are just flying out. We're doing November. General read. If it's yours, you'll know. If it's not yours, you'll also know. You know. So, what are we doing? Okay, I'm liking this for you. Because you have the King of Cups. Alright, so there's stuff that you obviously feel important about. You feel like you're in control of stuff. Seven of Swords reversed. If there was anything that you were being untrue to yourself about or other people were kind of um not lying i always hate to say that but there is a, a level of deceit to it whether it's you're lying to yourself other people were not telling you the full story um people were trying to take shortcuts get around things it's n that's not happening because i feel like there's you already had the integrity with the king of cups there was already something about it that you you know you were putting your best foot forward so any of this junk didn't even get to you and then the knight of cups it's almost like it was a blip and you continue <laughs> so what about that it is the page of cups reversed okay so that's too uneven for me but it is like judgment and stuff so let me see what this says before and then you have the knight of wands it's almost like we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to, we don't have to get into that. It's almost like you, and it's not a bad glazing over it, but it's like something's done. You don't have to talk about it. The course has been corrected. We're moving. It's almost like you're, you're choosing to be kind or whatever the situation is choosing to be, um, kind hearted about it. Like you don't have to, there's no grudges being held. Because the Knight of Wands, it's like, let's just go. Let's keep moving. You know, because what was the Seven of Swords reversed about? Yeah, it's the Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. Somebody could have been trying to cut corners as far as working, um, doing the stuff that they said they were going to do. And it's almost like with this Nine of Swords, it, it was enough. Like, they did it to themselves. You don't have to revisit it. And, and it's just one of those, like, don't do it again. You know, and you leave it at that. There's no grudges. It's like a clean slate moving. So this King of Cups over here. All right, that's too many even for me, but it's Five of Pentacles reversed. And then it is the Seven of Wands reversed. You're not cutting stuff out and you're staying very open on things and you're not, and it's the world reversed. Whatever this was, you were keeping the door open. I don't know, or if this is someone keeping the door open for you, and it's like we're not making a mountain out of a molehill. You know what you did. <laughs> like I said, we don't have to talk about it. We're moving on. It's a very cut and dry message. So what are we moving on into? Now it's the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Well, you're not really sure. You could have no grudges, but at the same time, it's like you have to leave something in the past. So how are we going to address it? Because you have options. Seven of Cups. What is that about? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you do need to kind of um, put something in the rearview mirror. I'm not saying whatever was kind of like let go back here comes back up. But the process of moving away from it, even if there are no grudges, if there are no like ill will, bad feels, whatever it may be, it still might be a process. You know, so as a side quest, how is Scorpio going to kind of evolve out of that? That was the star reversed, but didn't want to commit. We have the queen of swords reversed and justice. You're not cutting it out, but uh, it better be on the up and up from here on out. Someone better sufficiently apologize. And there, um, there's the sun. You're going to give the opportunity, but in the process of the sun, there better not be any new stuff that pops out. No new stuff. Okay? From this forward, there is no new stuff. There is no new nuggets of info that come your way. Because then what happens? And let's see. What about this? Yeah, we, we better be honest. There, there better be nothing but truth from here on out. Like I said, you're, you're really like being very 
chill with something that I think other people might be like, Scorpio, you're way too chill. And you're like, eh. You know, um, it's not even benefit of the doubt. Because I think whatever this was with this Nine of Swords to be popping out, it's like they already knew. But there better not be anything else. <laughs> like, whoever this is, I won't cut you out. Whatever this is, I won't cut it out. But from here on out, it's better be a hundred. There's, there's no like 98.9... No, like, 99.7. Like, no, 100. Like, that's it. Those are your options. 100 or nothing. So, and it seems very specific, doesn't it? So, we're doing this. I forgot I was doing the, more of a relationship spread. You have the rider in the middle. That is messages, news, stuff moving fast. You have the bear and the sun on one side. We read this like scales. The clouds and the tower for them or the situation then we have the heart i keep wanting to be like scorpio you big softy like i don't know if it was anybody else i think or whatever the situation might be you might be like go pound sand but for whatever reason and there it is the um lion with the anchor you're way more chill about something than i think even you might be a little surprised with your level of chill. But with the rider, we'll clarify him too. But there is um, messages, stuff. You could be physically going somewhere. But there is something kind of coming in fast because horses are pretty quick, right? You have the bear and the sun. The sun is kind of an acknowledgement. It's similar to the tarot sun where it's kind of an illumination. Uh, not necessarily opportunities, I don't think, because there's the bear. But there um, is a mama bear element. So there's a level of respect that I think is going to be, you know what I mean? Like when you, you're telling somebody something and, and you respect them and you're like, oh my gosh, like I hope this doesn't change. You know, it's like that kind of vibe, but it's coming towards you. It's like, oh my gosh, I hope Scorpio doesn't think of, you know, me. And then, you know what I mean? I know I'm not explaining that like super clear because it's more of a vibe. <laughs> like I'm not finding the right words for but then we have the heart here. So there is something that, you know, you feel strongly about that you're trying to keep your cool while you're finding some things out. And like I said, this doesn't have to be like a giant soap opera clutch pearl thing. It could be as simple as like somebody, you know, wasn't telling you about something that was kind of low level. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, it, there's no towers. There's n no like bad stuff. Um, Cause like I said, I feel like they did it to themselves. Because over here you have the clouds with the tower. They don't really know what the, the right thing to do. I feel like they either got far away from their original intention. Because then we have the mountain with the crossroads. Somebody doesn't know what to do. And somebody doesn't know the right way forward. And that could be part of the issue. Is they're like, well, where does this leave me? What do we do? Um... You know, and if this is a job situation, your job might be like, you know, like, I don't know where to go. And you're like, well, that's great. I'm going to go over here and do this other opportunity or this better thing or whatever is better for you. It's something that you've put a lot of work, time, energy into. But the other side doesn't know where to go from here because the challenge and this is quite a bit for the challenge here. You have the bouquet, which is the offers, which is the starting stuff. The swords, which means there's probably some kind of conflict, a concern about things coming to light with the garden and social situations and people kind of finding stuff out or being out and about and things being seen. And that's the key, though. The key is a level of honesty that I don't know somebody is comfortable with, but like it has to happen. And with the lion and the anchor surprisingly grounded, surprisingly having it together, um, and not from like a dumb dumb letting it slide thing the lions are a surprise but they know how to defend themselves if you roar at a lion a lion will roar back so it you have power in this groundedness of yours that you're doing because i want to see what the message is about here well we got the ring and the dude so you know somebody wants to be commitment do the right thing they only give you a guy and a girl in this deck so i'm not really going by gender 
but I feel like somebody wants to do the right thing. They just don't know how to move out of whatever, wherever they were embroiled in is like someone dug a hole and now like they can't get out of it. Actually, I, I do want to find over here the whip. Well, it, it's not like, not like you're just rolling over, but there's a level of discipline. Like you can stay around. You can like, I'll, you know, stick with you. But like I said, there better be no shenanigans, zero shenanigans, you know? <laughs> so over here, how is this person going to kind of get out of it? They want to, I don't think they know the actual 3d world world stuff on how to push them through or beyond what they're doing right now desires there though i feel like there's a lot of like static still around them because the birds is like um you know it can be gossip it can be social media it can be stuff like that so um i would just watch where they're getting their info from you know like what you know like are they listening to you know, friends say like, oh, well, Scorpio, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 mind your business. Like this is between, you know, A and B, see yourself out. So over here, something's got to change. Like, no, duh. But what about it? Like, I'll be here. I'll be grounded. I'll be chill, but it better change. And they're, and I'm watching. End to shenanigans. Like I said, <laughs> coffin and fox card end to any kind of getting over or this is you if it's not a person there's just a situation vibe etc that you are just locking out any of the stuff that is trying to manipulate push get one over and you're like i only accept you know authentic stuff you know it's like stop trying to pass off your friendship with this fake currency <laughs> like there better be that little you know like a you know in like the 100 dollar bill 50 dollar bill I don't see them that often, but there's that little stripe in it that you know it's the real deal. Like, you're looking for the stripe <laughs> on whatever friendship transaction, whatever it is. You know, those little markers that they mark your 20 with <laughs> when you give it to the cashier. You know, like, you're looking for that. Like, there's no counterfeit. So, what is this about abundance? Hi. Scorpio, like... And I think people see you as, you know, somebody that's able to get, get to what you want. And it's like, they want that too. But it's like, if they're off here wild and out celebration. Yeah. I think like, it's like, I keep saying, it's almost like you're unbothered. You're outside of it a little bit, but you're willing, but they better be on the up and up. So I think you have good stuff coming along. It almost feels like all this other stuff is kind of external to you. Um, but yeah, like you have a level of integrity that I think other people want it, but it's like they don't know how to do it. All right, Scorpio, that's what we have for November and I'll talk to you later.